Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am super excited because we are going to be starting a new series and this is going to be a series that is a spin-off of my current Let's Play Legacy Challenge Sims in Bloom and for anyone who's never ever before seen my Sims in Bloom series then you may not know who our main character of this series is going to be but this is Primrose and she's going to be our main character for this spin-off. In our Sims in Bloom series her twin sister Thorn is the main heir for that challenge so I thought it would be nice if we delved a little bit deeper into Primrose and her story. So if you don't know, Primrose grew up with her twin sister and their parents, Indy and Tara, and they were living in Evergreen Harbour in the eco world. They literally grew from like absolutely nothing to a container home to a massive container home, but they always kind of struggled for money and Indy was always working hard. Tara was too, but they were always working hard to provide for their kids. Indy built and fabricated and made, handcrafted a lot of the furniture that they had in their house. So the girls kind of grew up around kind of secondhand, handmade, crafted items. So they kind of learned the value of money very early on. Primrose, in comparison to her sister, was very introverted. Her sister loved going out, had a big group of friends, was really popular in school, whereas she was neither here or there, didn't fit into a group in school, kind of just focused on her studies, on herself, and mainly actually focused on her fitness. So she was always running, swimming, using things like punching bags, playing basketball, playing football, Football. She loved playing football. She was always very fitness focused. Upon moving out of the family home, she moved in with her twin in an apartment in San Myshuno. She jumped straight into the business career, but on her first day, she lost her job. She found out some illegal activity that was going on within the management team there. And she is a very good, honest and decent person. So she told people about that. It obviously made the news. It hit news headlines and the company fired her. So she has now joined the military and we are going to be joining her as she moves out into a different world. Obviously, at the moment, she's feeling very tense. She's got a fear of failure, a fear of letting people down. She hates being the center of attention as well. So this sudden fame that she's gained from releasing the secrets about her management team has made her feel quite anxious. And she's feeling sad from getting fired. But I think she, in a way, she's feeling happy and ready for new experiences and new big moves in life. So we are going to be going ahead ahead and creating a new household and moving Primrose out. Now, I think let's give her perhaps 1,500 simoleons worth of cash to get started with. Thorn and her girlfriend don't have loads of money. And I think Primrose would say no to them giving her money. I think she'd be like, no, no, like I'll be fine. But I think that Thorn would insist. So we're going to be moving out with 1,500 simoleons and we're going to be moving over to Strangerville. Welcome to Strangerville. Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. Strangerville is a quiet little town with a strange problem. The residents are very friendly, but at night things start to get more interesting. If you want to find out more, you can find military personnel hanging out at the local bar, scientists researching at the library, and the Cura shop stand is sure to have some strange odds and ends by the trailer park. Okay, so this is where the military is based, hence why she is moving to Strangerville. The only property that is available is this trailer park park but even then we don't actually have the funds to pay for it. I think what I'm going to do for now is put free real estate on just to get her moved into a place. We will mark it as unfurnished and perhaps start from nothing. Maybe give her the basic essentials but then she can build it up gradually herself. Okay this is cute. This is a little caravany trailer sort of park home that we've moved into and okay so there's room obviously for a bathroom and some other bits and bars. I really like this. Okay, this is sweet. Let's have her come in. Her first day of work is not until tomorrow. So we have a little bit of time to perhaps explore the neighborhood to decorate her first home. She is struggling as she's just got a new quirk. Primrose is finding it difficult to process her negative emotions in a healthy manner. Feel of anger or sadness quickly become overwhelming and result in an overdramatic emotional meltdown. How can we eradicate this? How do we get rid? Can we work through that? Obviously, we don't want to use her fame points because she doesn't want any of this fame. She just wants to live a quiet life and I think that that's why she has joined the military. I think she wants to do things to help. She has this fear of failure and she wants to become recognized for her work. I think that losing her business job has put her on the right path and I think in the end it's going to be really really good for her and I think joining the military is going to help her in so many more ways than we can even imagine. So at the minute her rank is military. Privates are the backbone of the 
day-to-day -day work around the base. Primrose must carry out any and all orders given to them. First things first, why don't we put some essential bits in the house just so we at least have a bed, a toilet, that sort of thing. I think let's properly get into the Strangerville vibe and go for this kind of camping bed with the military one. Obviously there are no lights in here so I'm just going to put some light in. in. The cheapest toilet is 250 simoleons so we will grab that. We actually cannot afford a shower. Let's hope it rains soon but I'm sure in the desert there's no chance of that happening and we can't afford a fridge or an oven so we're gonna have to get some money for those but at least she's got a place to rest her head. At least she has a roof over her. That's kind of all I wanted for her. I wanted to make sure she had a roof over her head and it's better than nothing. She's just starting out and it's gonna be fun watching her grow as a person and just in general. We are feeling a little bit peckish and we are stink so why don't we go ahead and explore the neighborhood? Okay we have something that looks like a bar over here so let's go ahead and visit the bar and maybe we can meet some of the locals and introduce ourselves to them. Okay so we're here at the bar. Oh we've got people that also work for the military so maybe we should get to know them. Tamara Lane. So her name is similar to our mum who's obviously called Tara so why don't we go and oh military introduction. Okay I didn't know you could do that so let's go do a military introduction. How does that even work? What are they gonna do? Oh god they don't <laughs> They've realized that we actually stink. Maybe we need to find a local swimming pool or something nearby. Okay, I did not see a military introduction. Are they not meant to do like that and all that jazz? No? We're just gonna skip that part? Did I miss it? Well, this is a fun place. Oh, wait, there's somebody else here. Who are you? Lelaney Good. Okay, can we go and introduce ourselves to them? And then we've got a scientist. Oh, is this the main village? The main town? There's a scientist, a conspiracy theorist, another person that works for the military, another conspiracy theorist. Okay. Okay, so Primrose is struggling from an intimidating environment. So many unfamiliar faces. Primrose is feeling a bit overwhelmed. She has just... Oh, who's this handsome guy? Atticus. Oh, damn. Okay, Atticus can definitely get an introduction. Primrose, stand up and introduce yourself to Atticus. Oh, he do be handsome. And he's, do you think he works for the military as well? Okay, I do feel like we have to go and perhaps meet our neighbours. Does Primrose have enough aspiration points for the always welcome trait? She does. Okay, so with always welcome, it means you can go into other people's homes and just do whatever and they won't be like, what are you doing? Don't do that. So I think... This is a great opportunity to go ahead and meet our neighbours and introduce ourselves to our neighbours and also introduce ourselves to their showers. Wait, there's a gym down the road. Okay, forget that. <laughs> Just wasted 500 reward points, but it's fine. We'll go ahead to the gym down the road, do some working out, get prepped ready for work tomorrow since we don't have any money to buy like gym equipment at our house. And I feel like Primrose would want to be in the, in the right mindset. Get, she's feeling emotional, tough around meeting new people as well of course so maybe she can go and burn off that steam at the gym okay let's go ahead and take a shower and she did her sparring or sparing what is it called but i'm gonna say sparring she did her work from home assignment to practice sparring on this old training bot before she moved out of thorn's apartment so she doesn't even need to do that but it's always good to up her fitness oh she can practice ordering around what from being part of the military <gasps> we've got to try that out she's feeling hungry oh my god there is a whole werewolf here i think that is a werewolf that in my sims in bloom series one of the girls stole money from oh gosh Ooh, we have tech team excellence award and bravery heart i don't even know if they're for the military because we've only just joined the military we have no food in our inventory unfortunately babes you need to get into your gym equipment you can't do this in a towel is this her practicing oh. <laughs> she's such a soft gentle oh oh she's loving it she is such a soft gentle baby that I honestly cannot see her ordering anybody around. But so she's doing a good job. Practice makes perfect. Oh, I don't think she did very good at that one. Oh, bless her. She's trying and that's the main thing. She's having an emotional meltdown. She's joined a new job. She's moved to a whole new country, a whole new place. It's going to be tough for her. Like she's 
always been a very, oh, look at those muscles, by the way, on her arms. But she has always been a homebody, you know, always been comfortable in her safe space, in her home with Indian Tara. So it's going to be difficult for her. And she's feeling uncomfy here as well because she doesn't really know anyone. But we've got some girls over here that are working out. So why doesn't she go and do that run and introduce herself to the Sims? Zocatil? I have no idea how to say that name. So please do let me know. Is it Zocatil? Luna? And we also have Wells Myers and they are a gym trainer. Okay, that's cool. Well, we can have some chats with them. Maybe the gym trainer will motivate us to, you know, get ourselves prepped for work. Oh, look at her little elbow pads. They look like love hearts. But it's nice to know people in the area anyway. But we are getting pretty tired and we have got work at 6am in the morning. So maybe we should go ahead and head back home. And our work day goes on till 2pm, which is a really early start and an early finish. So perhaps we can use our afternoon to get to know more people, work on our fitness. Okay, here we are back at our trailer home. It is kind of wild. We've got, oh, oh gosh. Oh my God, Primrose. Noah Slater, an elder. Let's try and talk to them. I was about to say, we've just come home back into this trailer park that we have all to ourselves. And we've just seen this guy that looks... <laughs> Like he kind of, Ooh. oh my lord. Water is love, water is life. Okay, child, can you see what's going on here? Trick or treater? Babes, we don't have time for trick or treating. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, can you slap him out of it? Embrace the mother, she will bring you peace. Okay, so we've met this, oh my lord. He just pushed our hand away. Right, get inside to safety. We have met this weird guy who seems to be in some sort of a trance. He looks completely delusional um, and probably does not know what's going on himself. I feel like we're watching The Walking Dead. His bones are probably cracking in and out of place. I don't think Primrose is going to be answering the door to that trick-or-treater after seeing this. Maybe she thinks that because it is spooky day, because it is Halloween, that this guy is just playing the role. I think she would perhaps assume that, oh, it's a bit creepy. We're not going to answer the door. Let's lock this for everyone but myself, just to make sure people don't, like, come into my house. But maybe she thinks that because it is Halloween, this man is just playing a role and that is his costume. Little does she know. Oh, she just got a message on Social Bunny and it was from Thorn. Obviously, Primrose has just moved out and Thorn is clearly oh. already missing oh. her, so that's sweet. But we have moved out. We are in military grounds now, so it's gonna be less viable and less possible for us to be going home so often, unfortunately. Let's get up and she's ready to go to her first day of work. Look at her rig out. Very cool and snazzy. And off she goes for her first day at work. Maybe she should socialize and get to know her co-workers a little bit. Oh gosh, she's already in a dilemma. Awkward dilemma. Primrose is unsure what to do at work. A new co-worker has just joined the team. Well, she has as well. So maybe they've joined together. Perhaps they're both the new employees. And Primrose wants to introduce herself. Introduce herself, but is scared of being awkward and making the wrong impression. I think in her current situation, she'd avoid. Oh no, Primrose's boss is disappointed with her unfriendly behavior, minor performance loss. It's her first day at work as well. And she is obviously super nervous about everything. So I think in that situation and how Primrose is at the minute, that is probably how she would deal with it. She would have handled it in that way. But she has just met Betsy while being at work, which is cool. We can, of course, go onto this tab and see all of our co-workers. So Leliani, Tamara, and Betsy. Cool. Love to see some strong women in the military as well. She's come home with 272 simoleons. Because she lives an energetic lifestyle, she was bolstered in performance due to her affinity for activity. Well done. She needs to march around for her next promotion and for her daily task. She's thinking about Indy, which is really sweet. So you are hungry, so maybe we can take you to the bar, but I guess, can we, oh, she's playing football. Oh, march around, okay. So why don't you go ahead and march around? How does, oh, look at her. How cute is she? Very hard to take her seriously when she looks that cute while marching. Is she gonna go on a full mission? Like a full march around the neighborhood? Oh, fair play, well done. Oh my God, hold on a minute. It is no longer Halloween and there are still these 
odd people. This is a conspiracy theorist, but we have still got these odd people walking around in a strange way. Primrose is marching around the neighborhood, sort of on neighborhood watch. A military person is, you know, keeping an eye and walking next to that person, but we have no idea what's going on. What has gotten into these people? Why are they like this? We thought that it was just a one-off. We thought that that person last night was putting on an act and playing because it was Halloween. Can we try and talk to this person? Is, is something wrong here? Oh, what on earth is going on? Open your eyes to the beauty of her blossoms. Ooh, Derek, who's a scientist. Hello, Derek. Um, who is she? Who is the mother? We need to find out. I wonder, can this scientist tell us anything important? Can we ask you about Strangerville? Ask about the, the town? Ask about the world that we've just moved into? And what is going on with all of these people? Is there anything, that any sort of information that this scientist could provide us with? Derek has said there's some interesting plant life around here. Have you seen any of it yet? I don't advise messing with it too much. I mean, we haven't seen any interesting plants. We've just, we've seen some interesting people, but not interesting plants. Primrose is going to continue doing her marching. And then I think we will go ahead and take her to the bar. And maybe we can learn a little bit more about this new neighborhood that we've just moved into and why these people are acting so incredibly strange. There's another one. Oh my God, they're walking towards our house. No, don't go in our house. Kristen, Kirsten. No, we are definitely not inviting you in. Oh my goodness, Mariam, this woman is, no. Why? Why are these strange people here with fruitcake? Why are they not normal? What is normal? But I know that this is definitely not normal. Um, This guy is back. We will not be introducing these people into the comfort of our own home. I think Prim is going to continue to march around. Welcome to Strangerville. No. Oh my God. If this is the welcome to Strangerville, I don't want it. This is absolutely terrifying oh my god the eye twitching no stop i can't oh no this is really not good this whole world look at this there's a whole plane that has crashed here i wonder what the story is behind that there's some sort of military grounds over there our house is here in this um trailer park this trailer camp we've got the town over there let's go and visit the bar because i want to get away from these people asap visit the bar primrose can't travel because there is a social event going on oh no do we actually have to invite them in i guess we're gonna have to go and try and make an effort to talk talk with these strange people. Is there any chance we can just snap them out of whatever they're going through? This is really weird. I mean, they're talking to us. Oh God. Oh no. What have I done? Okay. I need the toilet. Otherwise I'm going to wee my pants from being terrified of these people. I am going to have to go ahead and get her an instant hygiene potion. Can oh my Lord. Can we afford a shower as of yet? This is the question. Yes. Okay. Let's get a shower. That's fine. Okay. We actually don't need the instant hygiene, but we do need instant hunger. Um, okay. We don't have anything that kind of fills our stomach. Beauty, 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 beauty. Oh my Lord. I don't know what is meant to be beauty, but this is definitely not beauty. It is in fact the opposite of beauty and it is cracky. And I mean cracky as in cracking of the bones. <laughs> but maybe something else as well. Oh my Lord, this guy, he's gonna dislocate our wrist. Are we not able to like get them out of this state? No. Just... Oh my God, this is horrible. How is Primrose not terrified? What is this? No, no, not more. Why are they all in here? This is awful. Oh my God, I'm terrified. Sorry, what is that? What is this? Oh gosh. I don't think she, despite the fact she has got, join us in the crater. Join us. Consume the fruit of the mother and no peace. No, I don't know what you mean. What is the fruit of the mother? I have no idea, but we need to go to the bar and we need to tell somebody about this behavior. Okay, firstly, can we order food? Yes. Okay, we need something that is going to be filling. So let's get fish and chips. And since we are no longer stink. Ooh, Betsy, we met Betsy at work today, didn't we? I want to ask her about Strangerville. And we've got Adriana and Farah here as well. So let's go ahead and say hello to all of them. I want to find out what is going on in this town. Even though we're military, they won't let us see all of the secret lab in the crater. Have you been there yet, soldier? What is the crater? I've not because I've got no idea. Okay, we are feeling intimidated, but we need to be here. We need food. Ooh, Atticus is back. I just, um, for scientific purposes, I just need to nip into Cass and just have a little quick look at Atticus, just for the purpose of science and doing it for a friend and all that, you know? Or should I say for the purpose of military? Since we're not 
scientists. So, okay, Atticus, there is potential. Let me just um, have a little look at you. My man's has got a strong jawline, you know? Okay, so this is Atticus's CC makeover. And honestly, I didn't need to change that much. Like his face and everything about this whole man is, uh, is quite chef's kiss. So his traits are that he is, he wants to be the chief of mischief. He is active like Prim. He's a dance machine and he's also loyal and he likes high energy sims. So, so obviously Primrose is not a high energy sim. I, I, maybe she can be, but she is quite introverted. So let me know what you think of little Atticus here. Good old Atty. Bless him. I think he's beautiful. Let's jump back into our gameplay. I honestly could not help myself. I saw potential. I had to do it. Oh, Atticus has sat down opposite us. Okay, I'm trying to get her to do a military interaction here, but it doesn't seem to be working. So maybe she can just introduce herself to him. Is this person like higher up, Betsy? And why is she wearing a different outfit to us? So she's got amazing compatibility with him. These sims just click based on their preferences. They have the highest level of compatibility. Okay. She does perceive him as very attractive, not extremely, but very. And oh, well, <laughs> Primrose's first impression, overly energetic. This sim appears to be a very active person, overly agitated if you ask Primrose. I mean, we did just find out that Atticus does like overly energy, high energy sims. And he thinks that she's emotionally expressive. Now and then it's nice to meet someone who's not afraid to share how they really feel about things. Yeah. Okay. So maybe she kind of put him in his place, not put him in his place, but kind of just said, okay. yeah, this this is a this is a lot but he does work with us so we are going to be seeing a lot of dear Atticus over the coming episodes if we do any work outings or whatever but we do have work in eight hours and it is 10 p.m at least we came here and got some foodies I think it's probably time that we went home but at least we've gotten to know a little bit more about our co-workers not a lot about the world of Strangerville and the town and why people are the way they are but we did come here for work so it's good that she's made that home priority perhaps maybe once she gets a little bit more settled into her job she can start to dig deeper into the mystery of Strangerville. And I hope that you enjoyed the first episode of our Primrose military series. Let me know what you think I should name this. I'm between naming it in the military or military stories, but let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And let me know if you enjoyed this first ever episode of Primrose's side story. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave some suggestions down in the comment section below as I've never before done the military career in The Sims. So if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video when they go out and turn on those post notifications. Take care, look after yourselves and I will see you next time. Taz out.